So in today's video, I'd like to introduce you to XLOOKUP, which is a formula that can be a very good replacement for VLOOKUP as it addresses all the challenges that you may have come across uh, when you're using VLOOKUP. Right, so let's get started with uh, looking at the syntax of XLOOKUP, which I have written in here, and this is coming straight from Microsoft. And I've also translated that in English to help us to understand XLOOKUP a little bit better. Um, and then at the bottom of the syntax, we've got the data, uh, which is uh, a price list for item ID, item description, price unit supplier, and month. And on the right in here, I'm giving you two examples. The first set of example is uh, where we are searching for the price unit supplier and date for each specified item where a user can enter the item in the yellow cells in here and simply type, uh, say, Apple, um, and then it should return the prices of Apple. And uh, let me just do that. Yep. Or um, cherry, for example and it should give us prices of cherry that the first table is done using VLOOKUP and I want to create something with you um, using XLOOKUP and later on we'll show you how XLOOKUP uh, can address some of the shortcoming of VLOOKUP yeah but before before we get started let's let's um, just pause for a second and look at uh, the syntax together yeah so this syntax um, is always published by Microsoft and it's just helpful if you can understand what it means because it means that uh, it will be easier when you are trying to learn new set of formula. Um, syntax uh, of XLOOKUP are basically XLOOKUP, open bracket, lookup value, lookup array, and written array. And then three uh, more inputs, um, all in bracket, which means that they are optionals. Yeah. And what do they mean in English? So in English, it means that uh, to write XLOOKUP, we need three compulsory inputs. The item that we are looking for, where can we find the item, and where can we find the output, plus three more optional items, which are what to show if not found, match type, and search mode. We'll go through that one by one in the following examples. Yeah, let's start with some simple example. Uh, if we want to try to find banana, um, what can, how do we do that? Let's, let's uh, do it together in the following uh, examples. So uh, I want to, all we need to do is type XLOOKUP. So we want to find banana. Mm -hmm. And banana can be found in uh, column C. And uh, we, uh, we want to return the price. And the price can be found in column D. Yeah. There you go. So that's uh, how you write um, XLOOKUP. Yeah. Uh, let me do it one more time for unit. So you type XLOOKUP. What are we looking for? Banana. Uh, what are we looking for? Uh, that's where you can find banana. And this time we are looking for units, so all we need to do is highlight the unit column. So it's really simple. Yeah, there is no more counting of column numbers. You simply just highlight the output column. Now, what's the benefit of using VLOOKUP? Yeah. Now, if you remember with VLOOKUP, whenever someone inserts a column, it creates a problem with VLOOKUP yeah. because um, the input, one input of VLOOKUP is column number, which in this instance is the second column. As soon as someone insert a new column, then the second column becomes column D. It's no longer column E, thus an error in the VLOOKUP formula. Whereas um, with XLOOKUP, column number is not important. It's not an input. So it's still referencing the right column, which is the price column. That's why XLOOKUP is more superior than VLOOKUP. Yeah. Secondly, um, another shortcoming of VLOOKUP is what if, what if uh, we want to find something on the left of the lookup column? So, for example, uh, item ID. Yeah. So, 
for VLOOKUP, you can't really write a lookup based on the items to the left. You can only look up to the right. So that's a bit tricky. Uh, unless if you want to duplicate the item ID and put that on the right in here, then you can then do a VLOOKUP um, looking for that item ID. But it, this duplication is not needed and it makes your file unnecessarily bigger than it has to be. Yeah. Now, XLOOKUP can solve this problem. We can uh, easily uh, write XLOOKUP for item ID using the same way. We're looking for banana. Uh, banana can be found in this column. And we are looking for item ID, which is that column. And we're done. Yeah. Um, so that's the second benefit of XLOOKUP. Um, it can look for an item on the left of the lookup um, item. Yeah. Now, the third benefit of XLOOKUP is uh, what if an item that we are searching for is not on the list? So let me give you an example. What if we are looking for grapes? Now let me just link this uh, to the X to the VLOOKUP as well so that we can see the comparison for both. Yeah. So uh, if grapes is not on the list, VLOOKUP will give a, will give us an error, and XLOOKUP will also give us an error. Now there are times whereby we don't want to see the error because it makes our spreadsheet messy. In VLOOKUP scenario, we need to add if error formula so that the error is now not shown. Whereas in XLOOKUP, um, we don't have to type if error. All we need to do is um, basically fill in uh, an optional input, which is the value if not found. Yeah. In this instance, we can just say uh, nothing mm -hmm. and nothing. So the formula is really significantly shorter than uh, the previous VLOOKUP formula. Yeah. Now, um, isn't that cool? Uh -huh. Now, uh, you can also say uh, change that with not found if you want. And then it, whenever you type something and it's not there, it will say not found. For example, if you type um, other fruits, uh, papaya. We'll say not found. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, um, there is other benefit of uh, XLOOKUP. An example is um, uh, about what if, what if you type something wrongly, for example, uh, bananas. Sometimes, you know, me, you may type something with an S. Yeah. But what we want is to return uh, the price of banana when someone type banana with S. So what we can do is we can, uh, with um, XLOOKUP, use the second uh, optional input, which is called match mode. Yeah. So if we put a comma in here, um, there, are, there are several options for match mode. Yeah. So the one that we're going to use is find the next smaller item, which is banana without an S. So if you can type minus one in here, our formula will now return the price of banana when somebody's typing bananas. So now we get four dollar, mm -hmm, which is the price of banana, uh, and it also works for apple. If somebody accidentally type apple with s, yeah. VLOOKUP doesn't give us anything. There is nothing that we can do in the VLOOKUP formula, but with XLOOKUP, it can give us um, the price of apple. Yeah. Isn't that cool? All right, now uh, let me show you another reason why XLOOKUP is so cool, and that's the search mode. Yeah. So um, let's pretend this is a price list for January, and in the month of February, we get given a new price list. And let's pretend February prices are a dollar more expensive than January prices. Now, if we are to search for February prices instead of January prices, 
you will notice that our XLOOKUP formula um, is not giving us February prices as a default. Yeah, The default is the same as VLOOKUP, whereby um, we are always getting the first item on the list. Yeah, So you will notice there are two lines of Apple, one on line seven, $5, and then one more on line 13, $6. And both VLOOKUP and XLOOKUP are giving us the first item on the list. So if we type banana, we get $4 because that's the first item on the list. And that's the second item, which is $5. Now, with XLOOKUP, we can change the formula so that the search will start from the bottom of the list instead of the top of the list. That way then it will give us the latest prices. And that is what search mode is for. So we can add another optional input and we can specify search last to first, which is minus one. Now it is giving us $5 because it's searching from the bottom of the list. Yep. In VLOOKUP, you can't really modify the formula to give that. Your only option is basically to copy the February put that on top of the list and put the January at the bottom of the list, which is a little bit messy, especially if you have a long list because you don't need to move around your data. This is why XLOOKUP is a winner uh, in comparison to VLOOKUP. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new about XLOOKUP and I hope you get excited about using it. Yeah. The only watch out about XLOOKUP is it is only available for Excel 365. It's, it is not available for older version of Excel. Um, so maybe more reason for us to upgrade to 365. Yeah. Now in summary, uh, here are the benefits of XLOOKUP. Someone inserting a column in the data used to be a problem for VLOOKUP, not a problem anymore. Yeah. Um, looking for an item on the left of the lookup field used to be a problem for VLOOKUP, no longer a problem for XLOOKUP. Yeah. And most importantly, XLOOKUP uh, allow us to provide three additional optional inputs, such as if not found option, so that we don't have to type if error formula anymore and wrap it around VLOOKUP. It also allow us to specify match type options, whether we want the search to be exact or to give us nearest smallest output or nearest largest output. And it also allow us to provide an optional input about the search mode. Do we search from the top or do we search from the bottom? I hope you have enjoyed the video today. And if you like it, please do subscribe and like. See ya. Until next time. Cheers.